Sapphire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you. This is going to be a general reading, but it's reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most. If you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Nine of Pentacles is the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like some of you are aware that you deserve more. Maybe you're in a relationship or maybe you're in a job where you feel like, you know, you deserve more than what you're getting or you deserve more than what you're being paid or you deserve more for your time, your effort, your energy. But I feel like you're recognizing that you deserve to be more of a success or you deserve you know, you deserve more for your hard work and your efforts, or you deserve more than this person is giving you. So I feel like you're at this stage where you're recognizing that, and it's like you're t then taking action to put yourself in opportunities or put yourself in spaces where you can attract more, where you can be more, because I feel like you feel you, you're destined for more. Like whatever it is that you have, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a goal or whether it's like a project you're working on, you're like, no, this could be more. This could be more than what it is. Um, it could also be an energy that's asking you to spend a little bit more time outdoors or in nature, especially to rejuvenate your energy. Like it definitely is going to help you with your health, like your physical health, your emotional health and just getting unstuck, especially if you've been feel like. Because your energy feels like you want to do something. There's a lot of ideas that you have and you want to action. And there's a lot of things that you want to do. But your energy feels like you're not sure where to get started. So spending some time outdoors might just help give you your mind the clarity and the inspiration that you need. The four of wands is your energy. And this is an energy of... It feels like it's coming home. So this is a homecoming of some sort. Some of you might be visiting relatives or family. Um, or connecting with someone whom you haven't seen for a while, maybe someone who has fallen off your radar. Uh, maybe you're traveling to visit family relatives that live overseas or at a distance from you, or someone might be traveling to visit you. Whoever this person is to you, they feel like a sense of home, or it, this place feels like your home away from home, or it feels like maybe you're coming back to something that feels like home. You could also be connecting with a new person and they have this kind of homecoming energy to them where you feel at ease with them, you feel very comfortable with them, you just feel like this person is very familiar to you, even if you haven't known this person for very long, but you just feel like you may even have a very strong spiritual or energetic connection. It could be to a person, it could be to a place or to, to a thing, right? But there's a strong energy of home, you could find yourself... Um, spending a lot more time at home um you are a bit of a social sign but maybe you just feel like you know maybe you're working from home more these days or you're just spending a little bit more time at home you could be um improving your home situation feathering your nest you might be buying new furniture or just like improving things around the home but i i see that you're spending a lot more time at home or with family friends or just doing things that feel like at home to you um you're also collaborating with someone so maybe it is to make improvements to your home and you have to collaborate with contractors or just different tradesmen or i just feel like you might be working on an id but it requires a collaborative spirit to whatever this is so and it's like there's a beautiful sweet synergy between you and this person whoever it is that you're collaborating with 
some of you could be starting on a business ID, so a work from home ID, and you might be partnering up with someone. Um, make sure you're on the same page, make sure you're on the same wave, wavelength, because if there's a sweet synergy between you and this person, it's going to help you get to where you want to go so much faster because you're both on the same page. You know, there's not going to be any conflict down the road. I also feel with the Seven of Pentacles energy, you just feel like you're, you're not able to commit to any one idea or to any one particular person or a particular situation and that's okay you know there's maybe you just feel like you're not ready yet maybe you just feel like you're not ready to settle down or you're not ready to settle into something or you're just not sure you know there's a lot up in the air here it's this energy of not knowing um maybe you have a plan for a business or a plan for the future but you're not sure whether it's going to work out but there's this kind of non-committal kind of energy. There's also this energy of you having to make some sort of choice or having to make some sort of decision. And maybe you're not ready to commit or maybe you just don't know what choice you have to make. It's just a reminder that, you know, Seven of Cups, it's a reminder to look past the glistening allure of illusion. So to see things as they are and not necessarily as you want them to be. But it's also a reminder that... You know, not all the choices that are being presented to you, they're desirable gifts, much like the chalices. So just make sure your decision, your choice is good for you. And not only that, make like don't forget that when you commit to a choice, you're also committing to the consequences of that choice. So look further down the road is what I'm trying to drive at. You may find yourself feeling a lot of like, you may be having a lot of uh, prophetic dreams, you may be having a lot of um, like deja vu energy or you may be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities lately. The universe might be trying to communicate something to you, they may be trying to communicate that you're on the right path or maybe that you need to readjust your path, readjust your sails. Um, the conversation that the universe is having with you is not the same conversation that the universe is having with the next person watching this and just because you know two people can see the same totem or the same animal or just the same symbol that keeps popping up again and again their interpretation or how that particular you know animal or pattern whatever it is makes them feel is going to be different so that's why it's so important that you are interpreting the messages according to you and according to your situation. So there may be something that you might not be quite open to receiving, a message that you're not quite getting or a message that you're not interpreting. And when we don't learn the lesson or when we don't interpret the message, it keeps happening again and again, maybe in the form of different people in different situations. But essentially the lesson is all the same underneath it. There's something here with the Four of Cups energy that I feel like you're not seeing um, or I feel like you're taking for granted or there's something that you're seeking, you're looking for something and you're looking for it in all the wrong places. Maybe you're looking for things outside when what you really need is inside. Maybe you're... Yeah, I just feel like there's something key that you're looking for and you're searching for it in the wrong place. It's kind of like a situation that, okay, say for example you lost your car keys, you lost it inside the house, the lights have gone all out, it's pitch black, but then uh, the street light comes on outside and you go outside to look for your car keys outside underneath the street light. But why would you be looking at why would you be looking for your set of keys outside underneath the street light when you know for a fact that you've lost them somewhere inside the house even though it's pitch black like do you get it there's something that i feel like you're searching for and i think you know that you're searching for the answers or you're searching for whatever this is you know that you're searching for it in the wrong place but you keep on looking. You're not going to find it there. I don't know what this is, but I think you know what this is. You're not going to find it there. I also feel like there's some communication that is coming in from you, some sort of, that's coming in for you rather. 
it feels like it's a letter it feels like it's a phone call or a message but i feel like this is personal to you and i feel like it, it's like i don't know if you've entered any contests or competitions or if you've been waiting for if you've applied for something and you've been waiting for an answer there's something here that i feel like is arriving to you very quickly from this reading and it's going to jolt you it's going to jolt you wide awake or it's going to help put things into perspective it's going to give you so much clarity or it's going to give you the answers that you seek and that's coming in very quickly and that feels like it's very um inspiring motivating okay so some sort of news it feels like it's exciting news and it's the news that you've been waiting for all right, guys, these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Keep shining your light, and bye for now.